is Madlena Lopez, and I am a mixed media teaching artist. Hi guys, my name is Jinkies, and I'm a freelance muralist and an event decorator, and we are part of the Art Collective Crew Native. What's up, representing? What's up? Welcome to our creative economy scavenger hunt in which we'll be exploring the parts of the economy that hire artists and creatives. And also, guess what? We're going to be winning prizes. Yeah. And you get a prize. Yeah. You get a prize. And you get a prize. Yeah. So if you ever dreamt about being an artist when you grow up, or anybody in the theater, or a vlogger, this video is for you because we're going to be imparting some pretty amazing art knowledge on art to you. Knowledge. So become a creator. Yes. So let's get started. Hey everyone. So to play our game, you need a paper and something to write with. To begin, please watch this video and look for this symbol. Once you see this symbol, quickly write down the art fact that follows it. And to enter to win a raffle, please submit all your artwork to Creative. So if you are ready, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So what is the creative economy? Like we said, it's the part of the economy that hires creative and artists. And these industries include architecture, art galleries, communication arts, digital media, entertainment, fashion, furniture industries, industrial design, publishing and books, toys, visual and performing arts providers, and finally, art schools. So let's keep going. In California, there are over 1 million jobs. This creates about 8% of the economy. That's a big chunk. And creative jobs create downstream jobs. Creative projects rent and hire businesses. So guess what? Get out there and network. So how much can you make as a creative? Well, on average, you can make between $50,000 to $130,000 annually, or in other words, you could be making as much as $4,000 to $10,000 a month. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's keep going. Can you survive as a freelance artist? Yes, you can. Four out of 10 creative jobs are gigs. And if you can work it out, it can become a steady and dependable income. So technically, you don't need a full time job. Sorry, parents. So what does higher education look like for creatives? Well, it's looking pretty good. People are finally getting savvy to the fact that we need creative jobs. So degrees are expanding and other sectors in our society are starting to want to hire creatives. So there's new government jobs opening up and financial aid. And the cool part for us here in LA is that we have three major art schools, Otis, Art School, and CalArt. So it's looking pretty good. Let's keep going. What does our future look like for the creatives? Looks pretty good because we're not going to get automated. Robots, they're not going to take our jobs. And digital media, vlogger, bloggers, video editors, and art education are predicted to be the most promising and growing industries. So get out there and get creative. So that's the end of our scavenger hunt. Did you find all six art facts? When you're done, go ahead and send us a picture or an email with your answers to crewnativeart at gmail.com, or you can also send us your answers through our IG at crewnative. Thank you for playing our creative economy scavenger hunt and watching our videos. I hope you guys loved it and learned a lot about what it is to be a creative artist. Yup, and I hope you appreciated us putting you up on that game, that creative economy game. So don't forget to join us on IG for future crew native challenges. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.